Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and we are on lesson nine today. So let's look at our objective. Solve word problems involving different combinations of coins with the same total value. So we will be working with coins today and you're, it would be really helpful if you could have some coins in front of you. So um, if you could, if you could um, find or maybe ask somebody if you can have four quarters, 10 nickels, 10 dimes, and 10 pennies. That would be super helpful for our lesson today. If you need to pause the video and go and get these coins, you should do that, okay? We're going to be working with these coins and you're going to get the most out of this lesson if you have the materials to work with in front of you. So go ahead and pause this video, go get these coins, and then come back. I'm going to continue. So we're going to show, you guys don't have a mat, but if you have two pieces of paper, you can use that as a mat or just put it on two sides of um, your working space. So one side could be one mat and the other side could be considered the other mat. Um, so on one side, I want you to show one dime and five pennies, okay? And I'm gonna show that here, one dime and five pennies, okay? One dime and five pennies. And remember, a dime is worth 10 cents, and pennies are worth one cent. And we have 15 cents, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, okay? Now, on, your, on the other side, or on the other mat, I want you to show three nickels. Three nickels. Three nickels and they are worth five cents. Now I want you to count up how much is each of these nickels all together. How much is it? Five, ten, fifteen. So this group of coins is worth fifteen cents. Three nickels equals 15 cents. This group over here, I used different coins and it equals 15 cents. You can use different coins in different combinations to make the same amount of money. We're going to look at another example. Are the values equal? Yes, they are. They have the same amount. Okay. So we want to show 28 cents in two different ways. So I want you to think about looking at the coins you have in front of you. Think about how could you show 28 cents? And I want you to count up to 28 cents with your coins and put that group on one side. And then I want you to try to think of another way to combine coins to equal 28 cents. There are lots of different ways that you can do this, but you're just looking for two ways. I'm gonna give you a second to go ahead and count up your coins and try to put 28 cents on one side. And then you're gonna do 28 cents on the other side of your learning space or in another grouping. So you're gonna have two groups. Are you ready? If you're not ready, go ahead and pause the video. If you are ready, I'm gonna show you an example of one group that you might have. You might have this, you might not. Even if you don't have it, it doesn't mean your answer's wrong. It just means that you came up with a different way than I did. So we could have a quarter which is worth 25 cents, and then a penny, a penny, a penny, and that equals 28 cents. 25, 26, 27, 28. Did some of you come up with this combination? 
I bet you did. Okay, let's look at another grouping. We could have 10, another 10, and 5. That's 10, 25, 26, 27, 28. There's two different ways to make 28 cents. I bet you have a different way to make 28 cents. Even though we use different coins, these are both worth 28 cents. So the values are equal. Even though we use different coins. Let's look at another one. We're going to show 56 cents in two different ways. So 56 cents here and then 56 cents over here. Now I'm going to give you a second to think about what combination of coins you can use to make 58, oh, I'm sorry, 56 cents. 56 cents. Now I'm going to give you a second. If you're not ready, go ahead and pause the video until you have two groups, okay? If you are ready, let's see if we came up with the same groupings. And like I said before, you might have a different set of coins and it could still equal 56 cents. There's lots of ways to put the coins together to equal 56. I'm gonna show you one way. So we have two quarters, which equals 50, and we have a nickel, which equals 50. Five, and we have one penny, and that equals 56 cents. Okay? Did any of you do the same strategy, the same grouping? And I'm going to show you another group that you could have done. We have a dime, 10 cents, another dime, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55. 56. That's another way to make 56. There are so many ways that you could combine your coins to make this. You could have used lots of nickels and a penny. You could have used one quarter and dimes and nickels and pennies. You could have used all pennies. That would be too many pennies. 56 pennies would be, that would take way too long, but it's an option. Okay, so both of these groups, even though one only has four coins and one has seven coins, they still equal the same amount. So it's important to know how much each coin is worth because every coin is not worth the same. Quarters are worth 25. Dimes are worth 10. Nickels are worth 5. Pennies are worth 1. So it's not, they're not worth the same. They each have their own amount that they're worth, their own value. Okay, this time let's look how to make 75 cents in two different ways, okay? Well, Ron, I'm going to give you a minute, but of course, if you need to, you can always pause the video so you can have more time. Right now you should be sorting your coins and coming up with two ways to show 75 cents. Okay. If you are still working, that's okay. Go ahead and pause the video until you have two groups, okay? If you're ready, I'm gonna show you one way that I came up with. 25, 50, 75. Three quarters equals 75 cents. Wow. Did some of you know that? Let's look at another way. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. Look at that. We could use one quarter, and the rest are all dimes. Wow. I wonder if you guys came up with these same groupings, or maybe you came up with something different. 
There's lots of options. These are just two choices, okay? The values are the same, even though we used a different amount of coins and different coins. The amount that they equal are still the same. Their value is the same. Okay, now this time we're going to show one dollar in two different ways. You don't have a dollar bill in front of you because today we're working on coins. So you're going to put your coins together to show one dollar. Okay, and remember one dollar is the same as 100 cents. So you're going to add up your coins until you get to 100 cents. And like I've been saying before, if you need more time, please pause the video and come up with two groups that have 100 cents in each group. I'm going to show you what I came up with, okay? 25, 50, 75, 100, or one dollar. Four quarters equals a dollar. If you don't have a dollar bill, you could give someone four quarters and it equals the same amount. All right, there's another way that you can show 100 cents. One quarter is 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, 100. There's another way you could use three quarters, two dimes and a nickel. Two dimes and a nickel equals the same as one quarter. Look, 10, 20, 25. These three coins together are the same as one quarter. So each group has one dollar. And their values are the same even though we used a different amount of coins and different coins. There's lots of ways to put your coins together to equal a dollar. So I'm sure some of you have a different way than what I'm showing you. And if you added up your, your coins correctly, and maybe you could ask someone at home, if you have something different than what I'm showing, um, ask someone at home to look at it and see if you're correct, because I bet you are, okay? All right. And now we have a question. Tony gets 83 cents change back from the cashier at the corner store. What coins might Tony receive? You use your coins before I show you mine. So you have to show 83 cents. So what coins, when the cashier gives you change back, what coins do you think um, Tony got back? This is another example. There's lots of different combinations that it could be, but I want you to come up with one way that you can show 83 cents. Okay. I'm going to show you my way. Like I've said a million times by now, if you need to pause the video, please pause it, okay? I know you guys are working so hard and you're doing an excellent job. Let me show you my 83 cents. 25, 50, 75, 80. You know what's coming next, right? 81, 82, 83. 83 cents. This is one way, one example of the coins that Tony might have received. I'm going to show you another way. 25. 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. There's another example. If you have something different than I do, please have someone at home look at yours to see if you're correct, okay? Both of these groups equal 83 cents. And the values are the same. Okay. Um. We are all out of time for today, okay? Thank you for working.